Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Saul Canelo Alvarez and this one guy is an opponent no one ever really talks about but he is basically the wild card of the middleweight division when it comes to competing and you know we don't really know what type of a challenge he'll give Saul Canelo Alvarez many can speculate but let's just break down the fight now this particular person is Demetrius Andre Demetrius Bubu Andre he is 26 and 0 with 16 knockouts He's 30 years old. He stands six foot one with a 73 and a half inch reach. So against Canelo, he would have a height and reach advantage. He's shown that he has good power and good pop. Uh, he's a very elusive and quick, speedy fighter. So he has height, reach, speed. So he has a lot of tools in the toolbox that could trouble and cause issues for Canelo Alvarez. Now, anyone in the right mind will say well you know Demetrius Andre isn't a proven fighter and you'd be 100% correct to say that he has he does not have a signature win he does not have a win and say oh this guy is the best that I've ever seen he basically have a, you know a lot of C level opponents B C level opponents he doesn't have any A elite level opponents so when you go down his resume, you have to be, you know, thorough about what you're looking for. The best name on his resume was probably Avanas Matarosian back in 2013. This is when Vanas was undefeated. He was 33 and 0. And so that was his best one. Um, he also beat an Atlantis Fox, uh, Walter Kakandangwa. And so, you know, th these aren't huge names. These are just B and C level fighters. These are guys that are not elite level, top level guys. So when you look at Demetrius Andre, you don't know if he's the real deal or not. You know, he sparred with Danny Jacobs. He came up with Danny Jacobs. He's fought Keith Thurman in the amateurs. A lot of people don't know that. Um, and, and he's won these matches. And so it shows that this guy has a lot of skills, has a lot of talents, and his career has been hampered by long layoffs. So now that he's getting back into the swing of things, he actually has a fight coming up on January 18th on the zone against Arthur Akov, who's 19 and 2. And this is just another tune-up fight for him to prepare for a bigger fight. And I think that's good that he gets to be more active. Hopefully, we get to see him against a Billy Joe Saunders later in the year. But he's the one opponent no one ever talks about. And the reason why is that if you look at it, you wouldn't think that he'd be a huge, huge guy for, for Canelo to step in against or a huge challenge. You say, well, Canelo's proven. Canelo's fought the best. But then when you look at a Demetrius Andre, he tried to step in uh, for Triple G instead of Vanas Matarogin. Triple G ignored him completely. And there's a reason for that. Demetrius Andre, he may not have a proven record, but he does have speed. He does have boxing ability. He does have height and reach. Demetrius Andre is a good fighter we just don't know how good and that's what we mean by a wild card so he could potentially be the one and only fighter to give canelo alvarez a real fight or he'd be the one that give him the easiest fight we just don't know i think a matchup with demetrius andre on the outside it looks like canelo could typically just wear him down to the body try to slow him down but at the same time could he give Canelo more of a realistic fight? Could he be the, the shocking pick that Oscar De La Hoya was talking about? Because no one would see Demetrius Andre versus Canelo Alvarez coming. No one would see that. Everyone expects Danny Jacobs, a Callum Smith. No one's expecting a Demetrius Andre. And I think that would be a very interesting, very good fight. I think Demetrius Andre is better than his resume. I think the layoffs have hampered him. I think the fact that he was so willing to fight Billy Joe Saunders to prove that he was, you know, to get that signature win on his record, I think that would have told us a lot about who Demetrius Andre was, but he didn't get that. So what happens if Canelo Alvarez and Oscar De La Hoya pick Demetrius Andre? I think that would be a great fight, but it'll also show us what level Demetrius Andre is because as of right now we don't know I think Canelo Alvarez would have to be the heavy favorite in that fight but that doesn't mean Demetrius Andre wouldn't be able to put up a good fight I think Demetrius Andre you know is far proven that he as far as boxing skills he's one of the top boxers or at least potential boxers as far as prospects go he's not he's not a prospect at this stage but as far as you know on his resume and what we've seen that he's been shown pretty good boxing skills. It's just that we need that signature win because without it, we just really don't know how good this guy is because there's no one on his resume that you can't say, 
is a name that that strikes fear to anyone and the only really recognizable name on his resume is Avinas Matarosian so if you look at Demetrius Andre he is a wild card he could be really good or he could be an average fighter we just don't know he could be all hype and smoke and mirrors or he could be the real deal he's a world champion now and I know Canelo would love to unify I think that'd be a fantastic fight but I think you know Demetrius Andre needs a step up fight before he goes into a Canelo Alvarez fight just to see what level he's on and where he is in relative comparison to Canelo Alvarez I think Demetrius Andre potentially re uh, actually getting the matchup with Billy Joe Saunders I'm done for this summer 2019 I think that would tell us where Demetrius Andre is I think Demetrius Andre getting the Billy Joe Saunders um, getting a David Lemieux these are type of fights so we, we can figure out where the hell Demetrius Andre ranks in the middleweight division because right now we just don't know what he can do how good he is um, we do know he has the confidence to step in against a triple G coming off a long layoff so so we do know that we do know that he sparred with with the Keith Thurman's and beat him we we do know that he sparred with Danny Jacobs and gave him hell and, and you know this is from Danny Jacobs own admission so we do know that this guy can fight he was a champion at 154 he's a champion at 160 so he he wins the belts but he's not fighting the elite level competition or the big names we have to see more from Demetrius Andre before we can take him as a potential threat to Canelo Alvarez but I think it'll be an interesting matchup and he is the wild card of the middleweight division once again it's the IBFP please share like and you must absolutely subscribe